and on this very remote road between two places we come across a vehicle cut in two but rather old it was probably a water gary or a military transport vehicle of some kind undulating white quartz fields An interesting bit of road up ahead. The guy in front of us has gone about hmm, a quarter of the way up and he's decided to reverse back down and we're not sure why yet. We'll find out when it's our turn. Dummer village. The reason we know this, even though there's nobody here, is there's their old car that they all seem to have parked outside a village and there's some foundations of the buildings that once stood here and a water tower and the toilet and no people and no animals. The boons under that tree. The breakfast spot was here. We found the shady tree not too far from the water hole. The water hole is over there where the green is. And that building there is the pump. There's no other sign of life. A part of a broken down old car. And we'll go up to the water hole. On the way up to the waterhole, there are several Valvichia plants growing up right close to the water, which is quite unusual to see them so close to the water. The water, quite interesting, coming out of the top pond up there and running down and along here and a little bit further to a little puddle down the end there and that's where it stops. All pumped by good old solar. We're down there under the tree. Zoom out so you can see how far we are and that's where the pump is. Nothing else here. There was a am small amount of game as we drove up. That's the Brandberg ahead of us and approaching it we are on a terrible road. We've been travelling in second for most of the day, most of the morning, most of the afternoon. <laughs> and believe it or not, this is a well travelled area, but we're obviously not on the right road and um, we might be coming off it soon, let's hope so. We've got a bit of time to make up today. Front bar just sticks up like a sore thumb out of the desert. No foothills, no leading up to it. There it is. We're at the White Lady Lodge in Brandberg and we need a little bit of real pampering, so we have abused the pool, the bar. Met up with some friends from our travels who've now gone back to camp and they have a beautiful setting here. That wasn't very nice. Hmm? You okay guy? You okay little guy? Now 
animals. I mean, your cats have your bone. It really is an oasis in every sense. But that is the water hole. It's just after sunset. We've come up to what they call sunset spot. This is sunset spot. And George is going to check his Wi Fi. Yes, he is. Down there in the distance is a water hole, which would be lovely to see an Ellie come and drink, which sometimes happens. And I can hear parrots in the distance. Our campsite at Brandberg, just as the sun starts rising. The White Lady Lodge and Campsite is not very full, as we've seen most places we've stopped. We're camping quite lean. The wind was howling last night and sand was blowing into everything. So we zipped up the top, crawled up and everything happened on the side of the vehicle, which was in the luff of the wind. You can see the Brandberg mountain in front of us. I can't even get the whole mountain in. Let's zoom out all the way down there. And that's the famous Brandberg. And George is holding a snare which we picked up in the felt two nights ago and we're going to hand it in here at White Lady Lodge. This looks as if it's been an elephant snare and it's possible that it's been used judging by bits of gunk on the wire itself and we'll see if the management are prepared to take this over. And our snare was well received and will be added to the others that they find and collect and then hand over to rangers when the authorities pitch up to deal with things like that or check on permits etc etc. Heading into Brandberg to see the White Lady painting which is a rock, a sand rock art painting that is quite well renowned in rock art circles. Marshall Eagle here on the tree. Local Dummerer village coming up. Stop over here, please, babes. Really is colourful little house right with the Brandberg in the background.
This is the entrance to the White Lady painting and the office where we will part with some more money. And the car stays there and we will be taking a walk. The White Lady painting is a guided tour only, no self walks, and it's two and a half kilometers in and two and a half kilometers out. We're fairly early this morning, we're the second people to arrive today, but it's still, it's already quite hot and we're walking into this gorge. Doing a park run. Doing a, yeah, doing a, the equivalent of a park run. <laughs> that in the stuff. Um, but you... now they're charging now one photo, no more $20, one picture is $40. You see. Baboon rock with the fe features of a of a skull of a baboon, eyes, nose, and even a mouth. Could even look like a baby in some light. And up we go to see the white lady painting up into the rocks. This is quite exciting because we have seen rock art in Botswana, in Sodilla Hills, we've seen rock art at Treyfusfontein, and we've seen rock art in South Africa. Oh! Beautiful Irland. Zebra. People. Where are the elephants? And also there. Were the elephants not here? Yeah. I didn't think so. Dion, this one's for you. You write. The white lady is not a lady, it's a man, a shaman. And this is the cave. And there in the middle, we'll zoom in, is the famous white lady. Surrounded with animals and hunters. And her stepfather is the one who gave us the directions to get to Elon Cave in the Drakensberg Mountains. Mm -hmm. He's too old now to, to hike and walk and things, but mm -hmm. um, when he was young, he used to go to those places, but he recorded it all very, very accurately on maps for us. Mm -hmm. Peak of Namibia, 2,573 meters high. Okay. Yes, in the middle of Great High one. Two? 2,500 meter We are 628 meters above from sea level. Whoa. Still more 2,000 meters hiking up. And this is the white lady's dry waterfall during the raining time. And now we make our way back down the hill. The two and a half kilometers, the temperature's risen. There's a slight breeze coming down the hill now. In the rainy season, when they have good rains, this river creates beautiful rock pools for swimming in but Ina tells us that there hasn't been good rains for four years now.